Okay, on the radiator fan systems that have the radiator fan module part of the fan, there's a four wire plug. The two heavy wires, red and brown, it's power and ground. So this red one is power all the time. You can see 12.23 volts. The black one is ignition on. trying to make sure I push it in far enough here so that's ignition on 12.23 and the green one is the control pulse width modulated signal you can see there's like 0.9 volts right now I'm just gonna go into uh, output tests and then we'll cycle the uh, fans from slow to high Okay, you can see the duty cycle is going from 0 to 100% and then the fans are increasing slowly. So you see both fans are working. Now they're pretty much off and they're going to go speeding up again. Should come on again, maybe. Okay, so you can see here there's a voltage of six volts, seven volts. And then it's going down to zero again close to zero. Uh, it's a pulse modulated signal so if I, if I had a different scale where I could measure pulse width uh, you'd be able to see that. Let's just change that over. And uh, uh, we'll leave it on 20 volts. So you can see here that the pulse modulated signal. Okay, so you can see the signal increasing. And then decreasing again. Off. save that for you guys so you can view it later hey guys so as mentioned in the video uh, cars or Volkswagens and Audis year 2000 I think 6 and newer they no longer use radiator fan switches on, that are mounted on the radiator fan uh, on the radiator on the side of the radiator to turn the radiator fan on or off uh, older vehicles again 2005 and older they had a radiator fan switch mounted to the radiator and all it would do is trigger high or low speed. Uh, the newer vehicles, they have a variable speed fan which the computer uh, controls via a pulsed width modulated signal. Pulse width modulated signal. Um, that's a tongue twister. And so what the computer does, it sends that signal to the fan control module which is part of the, la the large radiator fan. If you look at the large radiator fan closely, in behind the motor there's an actual module there uh, and that module is what receives the signal from the engine computer uh, and then the, the fan module itself turns both fans on, the large or the small fan. You can have an instance where the small fan doesn't turn on because it's burnt out or broken and it's just a large fan that's working. <coughs> Excuse me or you can have it where the large fans not working and then the little guys working so as with the older systems as well both fans should always work when when they're triggered or when they're needed when the engine comes up to normal operating temperature and the uh, 
radiator fans need to come on, both of them are triggered. So if you only see one working, something's going on or something's wrong. Um, that only holds true for the electric fans. Obviously, if you have two large, uh, if you have two fans, the large one being driven off of a serpentine belt, then uh, that fan will run all the time because of the viscous clutch. Uh, it's a um, um, viscous. <laughs> it's a fluid coupling, basically where the fan just free wheels, but as the temperature of that viscous, viscous coupling uh, increases, uh, the fluid inside becomes more solid, and it grabs the fan more, and then the fan draws more, spins, spins, um, spins more, harder. Long story short, this was a uh, pulse width modulated radiator fan system checking. All you need is a uh, multimeter. Check your power, ground, key on signal, and your pulse modulated signal, which is a uh, voltage that uh, varies from just under 1 volt to about 8 volts when they're on high speed. So you don't need a fancy scope to diagnose. If you have all those voltages and that ground, uh, then most li and nothing's working, then most likely the fan module is bad. If the, sm if the large fan is working but the small one isn't, the small one is burnt out. Thanks for watching. Hopefully I didn't make things confusing. Uh, if you have questions, comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. Hi guys. So here's the waveform that I recorded of the radiator fans, the pulse modulated signal, pulse width modulated signal. Um, so you can see there's a rise and fall here, rise and fall here and here. Uh, from this point to this point, that's one full cycle in terms of on and off signal. So the high peak here is the on, and then the low peak here is the off. Uh, the reason that the multimeter was showing 9 volts um, when the, or sorry, point zero point nine volts, just under 1 volt uh, with the radiator fans off, is because out of this one full cycle, which is 32, let's say 33 milliseconds, uh, this here is about three milliseconds, so this is about a tenth, uh, a tenth of uh, a full signal, and a tenth of nine volts. Uh, again, I was saying that this was a nine volt signal here. Uh, you can see measuring the peaks here, it's nine point one two volts. So ten percent of nine two one volts uh, is around zero point nine some odd volts. <coughs> Just move the decimal place. So, uh, when the when the radiator fans are off, there is a 0 0.9 volt signal, 10% of that duty cycle. And then let me just fast forward this. Uh... Okay, and so here you can see the full signal. So again, just like the other one from here. To here, that's one full cycle, which is 30, 33 some odd milliseconds. Um, and then going up to about here, that is 28 milliseconds. So we're just under, what is that, 90% duty cycle. And you can verify that by going with the uh, little guy here. And that's just under three, so that's about 10%. So it's this is a 90% duty cycle signal. Uh, from here, sorry, from from here to there, that's one full cycle. 90% of the time the fan was on at high speed, and then 10% was off. So I'm, I'm probably going to do them the best in terms of explaining pulse width modulated uh, systems the way it's functioning or how the system works I'm going to link uh, Terry aka Stuzman uh, he's got a YouTube channel he's an electrical engineer and he recently posted some uh, videos on how to check and test pulse width modulated systems or basically the theory of operation uh, so feel free to check those out uh, but like I said uh, this is just a captured uh, waveform uh, that you guys can play with yourself the link is in the description download the waveform download the software install it on your PC 
and then you can play with this waveform just as I am. You can pull in the cursors, you know, and then here you can see obviously this is looks close to be a 50% signal now. Um, sorry, there we go. So, yeah, uh, from here to here, 13 milliseconds on and 17 milliseconds off. Almost a 50-50 duty cycle right there.